Okay, there's one. I get another. Oh, that was a bad throw. That was a bad throw. There we go. All right, I think we got it. Come on. Yes. And I'm going to try to catch one more just in case, because like I said, I do want to get myself a female combi here. Obviously, getting a male combi is basically worthless. So... Come on, last one. There it is. All right. What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we made our way on from the Heights Camp, and we are on our way to the Grand Tree Arena to rendezvous with Leon, who's going to tell us a bit about this whole Cleavor situation. But right now, I am doing a little bit of a... I'm actually just going to run from this. Uh, I'm, do I'm getting a little bit sidetracked because I'm taking care of some things, working on making my team stronger and the like we were able to evolve uh actually three pokemon in the last episode we evolved uh shinx and we evolved Osh. well actually i guess no we did evolve Oshawa in the last episode yeah it was the very beginning of the episode and then starly as well which was all pretty great what is this surface is covered with moss touching it feels good somehow wait a minute i can evolve one of my eevee right here can't i Ooh. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, let's check our let's check our summary really quickly. So, would I really want to get myself a Leafy on here? Well, probably not with Hubert. Um, but having a Grass type would not be bad. What about with Viola? Well, Viola is a little bit more attack oriented than special attack oriented. Um, I mean, I guess obviously that's just the EV based stats kicking in. I don't know why I said that. That was really silly. That actually might be a good idea. It would again, it would add a little bit of variety. And Leafeon, they are very physically oriented, but they do pack a huge punch. And I don't think I've ever actually used a Leafeon in any of my Pokemon playthroughs. I remember I explicitly did not use Leafeon or Jolteon in my Soul Silver playthrough back in the day. So it would be kind of nice to have something like that. And since we don't have to wait to get like a stone or anything, let's do it. And there we go! Viola is now a Leafeon and got an idea for a new move, which we're going to want to check that out almost immediately because, well, we want to give her something Grass-type related. So let's uh, get rid of Tackle because that has no use when Quick Attack is already in place. And we got Leafage! All right! So now we can actually do some significant damage with her, which is pretty awesome. So there it is, one of the first, the, the first fully evolved member of our party. But that, of course, remains to be seen what we're going to actually do with Hubert here, which I've kind of already hinted at it. But uh, in due time, everybody, in due time. Okay, I don't, I think I'm going to have Viola get that one just in case it's a Geodude, which it looks like it is. Makes sense. So we're continuing to make our way kind of across. We're going to be getting into another new area here soon. Once we get by the Grand Tree Arena, which the Grand Tree Arena itself actually has uh, a few unique Pokemon in it that we haven't yet encountered. So we're going to want to make sure that we catch a few of those. Ooh, there's a Dust Tox here. There's a few Dust Tox, in fact. Okay, good to know. Um, dust, dust, I always forget Dust Tox is typing. It's like one of the ones that confuses me the most. Flying is not one of its types. It's, I think, Bug and Poison. Um, so for that reason alone... That's right, Staravia is still fainted. I did make a lot of revives in the last episode, so probably be a good time to use that. And then, let's see here. I'm getting really low on space. I'm actually going to use one of these experience candies. I'll use it on Hubert. There we go, since he is kind of left in the dust. I'm going to use just a regular potion on Staravia, and then I will use one on Luxio. Not like, not like it's going to be super necessary for too much longer. And, of course, it spotted me. All right. Let me back away from you for a moment. Is it going to come after me? Yeah, stay back, stay back. I'm going to move around into the grass here. If I can get an angle on it, I would not mind catching me one of those. Although, it is starting to turn to daylight. Is it? Nope, never mind. I thought that was a flash of light change, but uh, I think that was just some saturation on the screen. It was really weird. Okay, we're going to do our best here. So there's actually, there's a ton of dust talks in this area. My goodness. All right, so I'm going to start with just an aerial ace. I don't know if this is going to one-shot it. If it does, oh well, it did. All right, so I will use Gust on the next one. As opposed to that. I was a little bit too strong. I'm going to level up Hubert there, which is pretty good. All right, back it up, back it up. Turn around. 
There we go. All right, let's see what Gust can do without outright defeating this Dust Tox, please. That's what I like to see. Okay, so now we can start using some Pokeballs. So let's do that. See if we can catch one. Would not mind having a few Dust Tox to add to the group. And there we go. Really simple. It's nice not having to go into battle, but objectively battling is the easier way. Like, if you want to for sure guarantee you get a catch, battling is better. Battling is just better. Like, you can play the game of trying to catch a Pokemon outside of battle all day long. And depending on the type you're going up against, like, if it's an aggressive type, then, yeah, you could try to do that all day long. But I wouldn't really... Like, I, I guess in that particular instance, it'd be okay. But in any other circumstance, I wouldn't really advise it. Okay, that was turned around just at the worst possible time. And, of course, it got away. I spotted here. Come on. Don't turn around. Thank you. All right. We might have gotten it. I can see a Psyduck down there. There we go. Um, but if you're ever against anything skittish, you're going to want to take it into battle before you do anything crazy. Okay. So Viola actually just got a new move. Let's see. Baby doll eyes. I think I'll pass on that. Not really necessary for Viola. I'm going to check some other moves here. So we actually got Water Pulse on Roddy. And I would actually teach Water Pulse to Roddy if physical attacks weren't already his thing. Like, I... I... Mm, that is so tricky. Like, I, I kind of don't care about Tackle enough, but I think Aqua Jet is just fine. And then, yeah, I'm not going to really worry about anyone else, but I wanted to kind of go over all of that before we moved on any further. So let's get some Black Tumble Stone, which usually has some Iron Chunks in it. And we got some berries over here to get as well. What is that up there? Is that a bit? Oh, 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 oh. That is a cascoon, if I'm not mistaken. Moving around all slithery-like. Yes, it is. Le what? Whoa! Did you see the way that thing moved? I mean, it's, it's gone. I think it's because the sun rose. Those typically don't hang around during the day. But that thing freaking had some legs to it for not having any legs. What spotted me? Hello? Oh, Beautifly. Hi. Hold on a moment. No, you're not going to fight me. We're going to actually catch you. I'm going to use Roddy's Aerial Ace, and hopefully it's not going to one-shot you. It totally one-shot you. Okay, well, we'll find more of those, I'm sure. I'm sure. There are definitely more around this area, not just the one. All right, so as for Psyduck, I have a plan here. So I'm going to... There's some Baneri over here as well, which I'm not as concerned with those. But I'm going to grab this Medicinal Leak. And let's see here. Okay, let's get let's sneak up on this Psyduck. And that should catch it, no problem. Yes. Okay, we got one. Try to catch at least two more, if possible, in the area. But there are more Baneri than Psyduck around. So let's uh, have Hubert grab that while I head over this way. And it looks like, okay, we got a Shining Tumblestone Rock over here. I love the ability to just multitask as you're playing through this game. You can just keep moving on from thing to thing, constantly taking in your surroundings, grabbing new stuff. It's really cool. I absolutely love it. This game, like, am I am I crazy to say that this game kind of realizes, like, the pure fantasy of being a Pokemon trainer? It really does. In a way, and I think a lot of people would also say the same about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the opposite of, oh, you get to play as a Pokemon. But in this, it's all about being, like, a 100... <gasps> Are you kidding me? No, no way. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. No freaking way. Wurmple, if you screw this up for me, I swear. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Okay, I need to focus right now. Just a second. This is not something I can screw up in this situation. Uh, actually, you know what? I have a perfect idea. I have a perfect idea. Uh, no, 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 what am I doing, what am I doing? Oh, I don't have Cakler bases! Crap, I don't have Cakler bases! Oh! And I used all my honey cakes. Okay. I don't have any grass to hide in over here either. And I can't really see it. Oh my gosh, if I actually... I guess we're adding this to our team if we catch this. Please, 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 please. Yes! 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 Holy crap, we got a shiny. I cannot believe we just got ourselves a shiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Wow! I just caught myself a shiny Baneri, and that is definitely going to be added to our team. Like, I can't... I can't not! Also, wait. What can it evolve into right now? Espeon? Oh, I think it can evolve into Espeon right now, can't it? Oh my gosh. Wow, are we really going to get an Espeon, a Leafeon, a shiny Baneri all in one episode? Oh my goodness. Dude, this is like... This is crazy! Okay, I should... Let me, let me explain some things really quickly. So... First of all, getting shinies in this game, incredibly easy versus all the other Pokemon games. I just want to dispel that notion right now. It's not, like, ridiculously easy, don't get me wrong. It's still like a one in several hundred chance, but it's not the one in several thousand chance that it used to be back in the other Pokemon games. There are also very easy ways to mitigate uh, catching Pokemon, and you can actually shiny hunt very easily in this game. I know I have shiny hunted for a few of the Hisuian exclusive Pokemon myself in my own personal file, and did not, it was not too hard. I think the longest one only took me like an hour to track down, but still, find, and then finding one on just kind of out there in the wild, extremely, I, I guess I shouldn't say extremely rare, because I've also found one in my 40 hours of playtime, but finding one this immediately in this playthrough i'm actually taken aback and we've already got hubert at the point where i can evolve him let's do it i cannot freaking believe this this is absolutely insane Ha <laughs> ha! I tricked you all! No, instead we got ourselves a Sylveon! I wasn't going to get myself an Espeon. I've already used Espeon before. So, the way that this works with evolving for Sylveon in this particular game, and this has been true, I believe, since Generation 8, is uh, to evolve into Sylveon, because before you needed to use Pokemon Ami, which was only exclusive to the 3DS games. In Generation 8 and Legends Arceus, to evolve into Sylveon, you need to make the same conditions that you do with Espeon and Umbreon, which is just happiness. You need to have a certain level of happiness during daytime or nighttime. With Sylveon, however, though, it doesn't matter what time of day. It does matter if you, if I can check the moves here, it does matter that you have baby doll eyes in the move list. If you don't want Sylveon, you just have to remove baby doll eyes, replace it with something else, and then you can just meet the conditions with Espeon or Umbreon. But because like I said, I did an evolutions only playthrough of Soul Silver back in the day, and I used every single evolution that was available at the time except for Leafeon and Jolteon. But because it was Soul Silver, Sylveon didn't exist yet, and I figured, you know what? This is probably going to be one of the only chances I get on this channel to play a game where Sylveon is even going to be in it. So, cuz we're not going to be getting to generation 6, 7 or 8 for years and years and years so i figured you know what let's get a sylveon on our team so that we can have a fairy type to go around and we can kind of complete the set although obviously i still have an actual a uh jolteon to add at some point but in due time everybody we will we'll, we'll worry about that a little bit later for now we'll just take our psyduck and we will move on i cannot believe the amount that we have accomplished in this episode it's been Honestly, super crazy. Holy cow. We got a we got freaking Hubert uh, up to Sylveon, and we got a freaking shiny Baneary. Yeesh. This has been pretty amazing. I did not mean to change the name. I want to change the moves because I want to get Fairy Wind on you. We're going to get rid of Tackle. Perfect. All right. So we actually have a special attacker now, which is really, really good. That is the other major reason I wanted that. And it looks like Baneary is probably going to be our last physical attacker. Now, I ha it, it hurts to say this. But because we're going to have a shiny Baneary slash Lopunny on our team, I am now going to be missing out on what was going to be one of the best Pokemon to add to our team that I wasn't going to add until much later. And uh, now I can't do that. Now I can't do that, which really sucks because uh, I want an even distribution of three physical and three special attackers. But oh well. Yeah, I was planning on getting a Garchomp added to the team, but that is not going to happen. That's okay. We'll just we'll, we'll we'll stick with a law punny and we'll make it work. I seriously was ha had no plans to use a law punny whatsoever, but I can't pass it up now that I have a shiny. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. All right, I think we've done a little. I think we've done enough dawdling. I think we have explored around enough. Let's talk to this cowboy hat wearing kid. 
I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you're, uh, you've, uh, you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, uh, powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. <laughs> That's that then. No, I'll do anything. <laughs> Wait, don't give me that look. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. This guy is giving me, like, major... What is the name of the freaking... The lizard guy or the chameleon guy from, uh... From Super Paper Mario. Like, major vibes of that. Anyways. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, a battle withdraw now while you still can or face the wrath of my Gumi. I don't want to see your Gumi. But, alright, we're gonna battle. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. We also got a Sylveon just in time for this, too. Because Gumi is a dragon type, which means that he is absolutely screwed. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to use a quick fairy wind here, and it honestly might be a one-shot. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sylveon is so freaking strong. I absolutely love it. Very specially oriented. Very weak physical defenses, but, and also not that fast either. We've actually got two of the slowest evolutions on our team, which is uh, a little bit interesting considering most of the, well, I guess not most of them, about half the evolutions are quick, huh? It's really just uh, Glaceon, no, not Glaceon, sorry, uh, Jolteon, wow, no, it's really just Jolteon and Espeon, huh? Wow, I'm eating my own words. Okay, never mind then, a lot of them are so slow, but still, I think Sylveon is still one of the slower ones. I could be crazy though. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice he heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with his with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleaver, Weirdeer, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's po own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in vast Hisui today. Irina, what are you doing here with your donut wristbands? Seriously, what in the world are those? As you say, Cleaver has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If you Oh, she has one on her ankle, too. I never even noticed. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that this diamond clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the diamond clan and the galaxy team. So tell us how we're supposed to make the food. Yes, we can find a way to do it. I'll figure something out. Very well, Leanne and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy even if you must search every corner of vast Hisui. So we got, oh, the arc phone's buzzing just in time as if we need uh, Deus Ex Machina to tell us where to go. And Mysterious Power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. I mean, we already had that power, but okay! Never mind then. Okay, so head to a base camp and report what you've learned to Professor Laventon. Well, we will do just that in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. In the next episode, we are going to change up our team a little, grab our Baneri, and uh, yeah, we're going to get to work on trying to quell Cleavor's Frenzy. I hope you're all looking forward to that. I will see you all in the next one.